Hi, everybody. Here I am again. I'm here again. Here I am again. I am on a roll. Now, see, I did some more jelly prints. So, and I'm and I'm still playing with jelly prints. I'm on a on a jelly print kind of a mold these days. So, but first, let me tell you, I got some. I got some Happy Mail here, and I got it from Cynthia McCoy. She put, look at there, a unicorn. She's got it. The envelope is painted in, in purple and with those little circles and stuff on it. And then look at there. It says unicorn, and it says unicorn love. This doesn't say unicorn. It is a unicorn. Isn't that cute? It's like a unicorn stamp. Okay. And then inside of the package are things. 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 Now, things. Look, oh, look at this. Paper doll. Anne Estelle Paper Doll by Mary Engelbright. Look at this. Here she is, and she's got two outfits and a hat and a flower basket and little tools. Oh, she's so cute. She's going to go to my paper doll book. I haven't worked in my paper doll book in a while. No, I have to, because look at this. Isn't she cute? Look at her. Look at how cute she is. And she's got this little dress. And right here. How cute is that? And she's got this little outfit where she can go working in the garden. Look at that. This is going to be make a nice page in my paper doll book. Thank you so very much. From me to you. There's nothing in the world more powerful than the bond between mother and child, Mary says. It's a theme I always come back to in my work. My mom never failed to encourage me with words and hugs. And the occasional cookie didn't hurt either. That's what Mary Engelbright says about her little girl there. Her little, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. I'm going to have to, and then look at here is, this is duct tape glitter. And this is duct tape with puppies and bones on it. Oh, my word. Those are cute. Oh, those are cute. Duct tape. Love it. Oh, there's 180 inches on there, on that one, too. That's a lot of tape. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's a card with fishes on it. And Cynthia made that. Dear Elizabeth, I hope you are well. I'm sending some things I thought you might enjoy. The postcards come from my mother's collection. Oh, yay. Postcard. She had friends that traveled and had them get postcards for her. She also collected salt and pepper shakers, but that's a whole other animal. The Massachusetts, Massachusetts card is from my state. There is no rhyme or reason to this package. Just stuck. Except for the flashlight. A flashlight? Okay, um, except for the flashlight, it is a misprint from my job. Oh, hang it. Hang it onto your shirt the next time you walk to your daughter's house at 2 in the morning. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's what I did. I Oh, and I said that in the video. That I walked to her house two o'clock in the morning, and then and then my daughter told me about the sign that she seen a flashing sign on the main road, and it said, "Lock your doors, lock your doors, suspicious activity in area or something like that." And I said, "Oh my gosh!" And now I gotta walk home in the dark. And so, so this must be a flashlight. The mummy. This is a flashlight, apparently. Holy moly, is that a flashlight? 
Whoa! That is a cool flashlight. Boy, is that bright. That is a cool flashlight. And I can just hang it on my shirt and go strolling. That is amazing. Thank you for that. Thank you, Cynthia. I like that. Now if I just don't lose it, I gotta find a place to put that where I'll always have it. And then she ties it together with a ribbon and some rickrack that I can reuse. Massachusetts, the Bay State. So now I have Massachusetts. Oh. Oh my goodness. Portugal. 1990. Portugal. That is amazing. Oh, and this is Finland. Oh my gosh. And this was in April of 93. I'm half finished, so see, this is special for me. I have family. Oh, this one, I don't even have to look on the back to see where it's from, because it says Aloha. So I'm assuming this is Hawaii. Hawaii's exotic skies. Amazing. And this one's the Bahamas. And Switzerland. Different places in Switzerland. Oh, look at this. I got five, six, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six postcards. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Cynthia. Massachusetts, the Bay State. I don't think I have that. Let me see if I have a Massachusetts in my book yet. I don't think so. And Massachusetts, that starts with an M. Mass. Uh, two Oh, I do have one from Classic Massachusetts. Okay, Robin Parker. She came from, she came from Massachusetts. Okay, this one I have to put her name on it so I know. So I have two from Massachusetts. Cool. Cool. Gotta get my maps printed. I need my maps. One day I'm gonna spend a whole day just working on this book. Okay, now here's some stickers. Oh, for Easter stickers. Aren't they cute? I love stickers. I know some people say they don't use stickers anymore, but I do. I love stickers. Because you can use them making your embellishments and things. You can use these stickers. And and then when you're doing a journal and you don't want to get it all fat, you know, then stickers work. Okay, now this is... This is... Let's see, I want to get that staple all the way without wrecking the paper. I don't want to read paper. I am telling you, this is why they call this happy now because it makes people happy. I don't know if people get as happy as I get with happy now, but I get happy now and I get extremely happy. And here's, oh, how pretty is this? Make today count, and it's a tag. And look at here how it's stitched. She's got everything stitched onto the tag. There's fabric. Wait a minute. Now on the top of the paper, I don't think that's fabric, but this is this is this is all stitched on there with the sewing machine. This is fabric right here. That's beautiful. That's different. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, how pretty. That's pretty. Look at that. How pretty. That's metal. It's metal and it's a heart. That's pretty. Oh my gosh, look at the crown. 
Now that's a sticker, but it's, they're both stickers, apparently. But, well, maybe, well, they look metal. Maybe they're, and then look at this, it's two, two, um, paper clips, and they got the, I call them yo-yos, I think that's what they're called, they're made out of fabric. And look at how purple they are. I love it. And then here's a beautiful piece of paper. It's like tissue. It's it's very pretty. It's I like that. I'm not sure what it is. And then here is the envelope. Oh, oh die cuts. Oh die cuts. I've been using that oh how pretty. I've been using die cuts all over the kitty cat and bicycles. I've been using die cuts a lot the last couple days. Butterfly, another bicycle. Oh, I love it. Look at that, how pretty. Butterflies and bicycles, and it says laugh. How pretty. I've been using my die cuts in on decorating up my cards that I've been making. And so, how pretty. Now, let me put those right there. Well, Elizabeth, you should just put them back. Ooh. And then there's another. Oh, another kitty cat. Oh, there's another kitty cat. And that one says happy. And two cats. Happy and laugh. Now, those are good words. Good words to live by. Happy and laugh. Thank you, Cynthia. I'll probably be using these within the next couple of days because I am just on a on a roll with my oh look at that looks like an APC with a butterfly and a flower and it's oh you know what I bet it's it's like part of a um I would think she probably did some like mixed media and then she cut it into parts. And she edged it, edged, aged it around the edge. That's pretty. This will be pretty used on it. Um, I like to make my removable um, ephemera that I can put on pages with a paper clip. That's probably what will happen to this. Now what's in this MD? MD. Oh. Oh, look at the dog bone. Those are so cute. Little dog bones. And they're, and they're wood. True wooden. And this is dream. And it's wood. Oh, how pretty. A rose. Oh, is that rose ever pretty? And it's wood. And then this is a bird. I guess it would be a penguin. I would say it's a very fancy penguin. Probably a royal. This is the royal penguin. That's what I'd be calling it. That's pretty. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cynthia, these are amazing things. These are amazing, and they're beautiful, and they're treasures. These are treasures. I asked for, I, I've been, like, begging for, because I'm a beggar, for the um, postcards. And this is, like, a postcard overload here from so many different countries. I was... I was hoping, my, my hope is by the end of the year to have a postcard, at least one postcard from every state. And, and then icing on the cake would be postcards from other countries. And as yeah. this is turning out, I am really getting the postcards from other countries. And then look at all the goodies along with the postcards. And this is amazing. Thank you so much, Cynthia. I am, I am, Grateful, so grateful for these things. They're so beautiful. I love my paper doll. She's going to go in my paper doll book. You know what? I might work on her tonight. 
That might be my tonight thing. I work on crafts constantly. I fix tag is pretty. I'm going to put that right up here. This I'm going to put over in my bat box. I look at this stuff Oh, I need to make my list. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cynthia. This is just, just like raining. It's raining beauty. Raining gifts. I love this flashlight. Now, if I can keep it from um, getting stole. My children. My children, they're thieves. Not really, but they do borrow my things. Jeffrey will see that flashlight and he'll think that he needs it. But I'm not going to give it to him. I'm saving it. Okay, so thank you for that. That was my beautiful happy meal for the day. But now what I wanted to do now is, now I've been doing different things. Like here I've got some, this was, this is one of my, um, one of my painty papers that I gel printed and I love the little dog. If anybody knows about these dogs, um, of where, what stamp that is. If, because there's different dogs that were sent to me, and I don't know exactly what dog, I'd love to have those. I think it's a set of Tim Holtz stamps, but I can't be sure. But I love them. And then I did this one here. I haven't made them into cards yet. But this is going to be a card. Oh, this one here. I'm going to put a word up there. And then this one here I made. And I showed that the other day where I just put the wheels here. And I wanted to find something that would go in the center. And so I had this stamp of this little... I have that stamp of the little um, steampunk girl, so I stamped her, and then I colored her, and then I tore, just tore the, um, around the image, and then I inked it and put that on there, and I put some glimmer, um, I put some, um, that glitter, this stuff, stickles, I put on there to put, bring, bring out some sparkle, because I just love sparkle, and so, and then that'll end up to be a card. And for those who haven't seen it, I have been making just greeting cards. And that's what's going to happen to these two. And then this, these are going to be greeting cards too. But I wanted to do something a little bit different on these. On these. So the, they'll get cut out. I used just a 5 by 7 I really like my 5 by 7 gel plate. I really like that. And so... They're smaller, and um, they're smaller. I I just like the five by seven. I do have a big one too, I believe. Let me see. This paint looks pretty watery, doesn't it? It's old. I've had a lot of this paint. Like it came over on the arc. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It came over on the arc. Now, let me just get one of these things and I'll just smear out my paint and get in a puddle. Let me get a puddle. Put up on my apron. I've been trying to remember to put my apron on when I do this because I've been kind of sort of ruining my clothes. Them. So them. You know what? I shouldn't have them stacked up like that, Elizabeth. Really. I shouldn't have them stacked up like that. Now, just a second here. Let me see. There's my apron. My apron's got a cow on it. See my cow on my apron? It's my cow apron. My favorite is cow. It's my favorite is cow. So anyway. Yeah. Let's get back here where you belong. 
this one do you see my ink? Now that, I can see that I have my paint a little heavy on there. I went a little heavy on the paint, as you can see. So wait a minute, now what if I take this and go on this one? without redoing the ink. These are just foam stamps I'm using. Oh, see, that looks better. That looks better. Although I don't have much right there, but it's still not bad. I like that. I think it looks just fine and dandy. Fine and dandy like sugar candy. So those will take a, a little bit to dry. Unless I was to... Unless I was to, um, this one, I used mostly on this, not the black, but the colors. I got these paints here, the Studio Acrylics by PBO. I got those from, um, Mona. I have to put names on, I'm trying to remember. Mona Stevens sent me these. And, um, I, this is helping my memory because I, I don't like to go and say, ah, I don't remember who sent me that. So Mona sent me them. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. She sent me them. Now, I don't know if that paint seems to be really, really loose. Oh, this is a pretty nice stamp. I wonder, let me try this. See, the paint just seems out of water. Let me see. Let me see. See that hair on there won't help matters any. Put that on there. Ta da! Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. That makes it pretty. Now. If I were to, this is a word, this just says smiles. So if I, that's got hair on it too. Okay, I got that. Got that. If I put that word up there, smiles. Ooh. That kind of bubbled up on the... But that's good for a start. I think that's pretty. Well, that's got to dry. I guess I could drag out my heat gun, but... I don't think I'm in any big hurry to need for it to dry. See them here. This is, I didn't really get any really snazzy ones because I wanted to just get basically a simple background that I could add things to it. This one here came more more um colorful i like this so i think i'm gonna make another one with this <laughs> see i might still add okay i'm gonna put this no i'll put it this way and we'll have some cards to send out because I think these are pretty. I, I just... And then this one, what other words do I have? Family, buddies, memories. I haven't used these ones, even though I... Oh, I got them at, a, at the thrift shop. This one says memories. I don't know if you'd send a card out that said memories on it. Well, I could, though, because I want to send a card to my friend in Canada and thank her for 
the wonderful time we had. She came to, her and her hubster comes to Florida for the winter, and we got together two times. I might make a card out of that and just the letter, the letter, I would just let her know how much I appreciate her taking them, taking the time to come see, to come see me. They, yeah, that was, it was awesome. Okay, now I'm going <coughs> to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to clean this up. I don't know. For some reason, this paint has me kind of nervous because it's so thin. I don't. I don't know why it's so watery. It could be because of coal. Maybe. Maybe because it's old. I don't know. I mean, it can still be used. I could add some stuff to it to make like chalk paint out of it and get thicker. And, um, yeah, like this off of here. And, um, I should have a joke ready or something when I'm wiping stuff up. Don't have any jokes. No jokes today. Do you have any stories? No stories today. I could just wipe this stuff off. My memory's getting bad to remember stories. But you know what? I've been working on my memory. So this is what I do. This is what I do. Like, I see, I think this is brain aerobics. You ever do brain aerobics? So do you know the, the do you all know the, um, the military alphabet? I've been practicing it. I'll be trying to learn like all the state capitals. One thing, and so I go through the states and see if I can remember the capitals. And well, I don't remember them too well, but I went through the military alphabet, and I'm learning and I'm studying and I'm trying to remember. And I think I've got it. I think I got it down pat. And so it goes: Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Gold. Hotel, India, um, Juliet, Kilo, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-ray, Yankee, Zulu. I think I got it. That's the military option. Although some of you might not say if that's right because because there is more than one. There is there's others. They're all pretty much like the same way though. But um yeah, that's that's the military alphabet. Well I could sing a song. Jingle bells, jingle bells. No. Long time of year for that one. Okay, I'm almost done cleaning up my very big fat mess. Just, okay, now, there, now, clean up my big fat mess. Now I wanna, um, now I wanna do something different. I think I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna go, I think I wanna go purple. I got this, see, I got this from Lorraine. That was See there, I wrote that on there, so I know I got that from Lorraine. That's pretty much cheating, but Lorraine gave me a whole bag full of things. Everything in the bag was purple. Purple everything. Purple everything. So I'm just going to put this purple thing. I'm going to keep you on with this because I know that I'm sure you're bored, half out of your board right now, but. And so now I want to, what else is in this here basket? Is there anything just really itching to get out of it? Oh, look at this. Look at that rooster. 
Oh, I want to do this too. Oh, but I need red and black for this. Oh, I don't think I... Oh, I want to do this ladybug, but I'd have to do the black and get it dry and then do the red to do the ladybug. So what if I do... What if... What if I do this rooster? He's going to be purple rooster. See, when I did this before, I just painted on it and I painted different colors. But this guy is going to be all purple. One eyed, one horn, flying purple people eater. One eyed, one horn, flying purple people eater. Oh, I get some on your tail, Mr. Rooster. Oh, a little bit more on your foot. No, we still don't got your tail. Let me see. You still don't got your whole tail. Come on, get on there. Why is it getting paint on this tail right there? Maybe this thing is warped. And I don't have it on his whole head. On his hole right here. There's some that's not right like here. Okay, so. It's still not on his right there. Right there. So, at the bottom of his. Let me just put it on my finger. But then it probably won't hit the. If it's like warped, it might be a warped rooster, Mr. Rooster. Okay, I'm going to put it on there because that's going to get cut off. Okay, so let's put the rooster right here. We will put the rooster right here and push. I'm pushing it so hopefully it makes contact. Because I can't go on this again a second time. That's not bad. I made a little rooster. That's not bad, rooster. You're not a bad rooster, rooster. And then and then he wants this butterfly. He would like for the butterfly to share his area. I just love butterflies. So let's put a butterfly here. Butterfly. And let's do another butterfly. Butterfly. See, and, and I don't know what I'll do after these dry. I don't know what I'll do. But I might, um, I might go around them with a white pasta pen or something. I don't know. I might give them some more glitter. I, I, I don't know. I never know what I'm going to do. Because I don't plan ahead. But it's going to end up being a card. And I like it. That's going to be a nice rooster card. I make the weirdest things sometimes. Now what if I take this. I wonder what it will happen if I just take. Blah, blah, a little piece of paper. And put Mr. Rooster. Will he come off on there? You know what? I should have put the paper on top of the stamp instead of the stamp on top of the paper. I wonder what, what that will do. Oh, look at there. You're a beautiful rooster. I love you already. Yeah, and we'll still give you a couple of butterflies on this one. Just a couple of butterflies. Just a couple of butterflies. We're just playing. We're just playing, that's all. See there? Just playing. Just play. Don't do anything serious. Don't get too serious about life. Don't get too serious. Just play. Now, let's see. Purple would go good on this too. Purple would go good on this. And we're just playing. We don't know what we're doing. We're just playing. You just never know what you're going to get. You just never know what you're going to do. You're just going to get something. You know, I think I want to do this in purple. This thing here that we did in white on the other one. Let's see. Let's 
see if I've got paint on this whole shebang. Oh, I've got it down there. I've got it down there. Let's get it on. There may be an easier way of doing this, or a better way of doing this, or something way of doing this, but but I'm a goofball. Okay, let's see now. I'm not really a goofball. It's just um, I put that on there pretty quickly. That's pretty good. And because this is the background, it's a background for something. Because it's a background for something. See, because I'm going to cut it this way here. It's going to be cut. All the, um. Yeah. Oh, that is a fun, that is a fun fact. That's good. This will make a really nice background right here. I'll show you guys in another couple days since I'm hooked on these things anyway. I'll see what whatever what else I'll end up with. Oops! Ah, don't fall down there. Let me put this right here. I'm running out of places to put these where they don't run into each other. So since I'm running out of places, well, this one kind of looks a little odd, but but still pretty. I like it right there. I do like that. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Will purple go good on there too? I should just use purple again, so. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put this, but I'm gonna put it right on top of the purple. Right on top. Right there on top of the purple. Like this. Thank you, Mona. Mona, Mona. Okay, man. Okay. Oh, this one I got from Hobby Lobby. You know, I know it says Hobby Lobby. That's all I know that one. Cost 99 cents. You know how I know? It says 99 cents. I think. I can pretend it's just my good memory. Okay, let's see. Let's give it a little dragonfly. Please come out for this. <gasps> Look at yeah, dragonfly. Oh, I like it. I like it. The dragonfly. I think it should have two dragonflies. So we're going to have another dragonfly. And this one is going to be right here. This way. Oh, I moved it. This one's going to be a slippery looking mag magna fly. Oh, that's still pretty, even though I moved it. Still pretty. So there's two dragonflies. And. And a butterfly. Right there. And. A butterfly right here. Yes. Okay, now that I don't have any more space to put these anywhere. I'm gonna throw that away. Oh, ow. Ooh, what am I getting about me on that? So sharp. Oh, that's that corner. Okay, so now let me wipe this up real quickly here, ladies and gentlemen. Wipe this up. Oh, I may have to take these over to the sink, which is okay, but I'll just get the main. Paint off right now. But these here home stamps, they're they're cheap. I love that rooster. I think that rooster is awesome. And if you take this, you see, because it's in all the separate pieces, if you paint each one of them with paint, then um, you can get a really pretty colored rooster. 
very beautiful rooster. Roosters are beautiful. I I'll put this side that you do, so I'll put that back in there, and let's wipe this off here. Yeah. Let's want it to dry on my glass checkerboard. My glass checkerboard. Somebody sent me these used up um, gift cards. They were and there was three of them, and they each one were $250, but they're spent. But still, Macy's $250, even though that there's no money on them. I think it's just cool that I, these ones are plastic, so I can use that. That other one that I just threw away, it was cardboard, so I threw that away. Those are one use in them some way, because they're cardboard. So these work good, my Macy's cards. Makes me look like I got class. Yeah, I only shop at Walmart. Because I do. The hobster said I do have a class. So he's a good man. Okay, now, today, let's see, where did I put my book? I have this here book. Okay, let me tell you. This here book I got from Cindy Utter. She sent me this book. It says, You are stronger than you know. Words of encouragement for someone living with a chronic illness. Now, this book, as I, this is a really awesome book. Um, it is made by Blue Mountain Art. So even the pages, they're, they're just beautiful. The pages are beautiful. But, you know, as I listen, as I listen to or read the comments on a live stream or if I, um, some, I have found that a lot of craft people, a lot of craft people have got ailments, different, some physical, emotional, different different illnesses and i do believe that when we do have different illnesses like that crafting is like the best medicine it gets your mind you know your arts and your crafts get your mind diverted diverted what's the word papa diverted diverted from your ailments and you don't think about them as much but i have found that so many of my subscribers and and just just um crafters in general do have these chronic illnesses that try to rob us they try to rob us of our happiness and that kind of thing but we don't accept it we don't but this book let's see which okay i'm gonna read you this one right here is that the first one yeah i'll probably read every one of them i mean a day here and a day there okay so i'm gonna read this one first this one says you are stronger than you know when we go through life struggles we sometimes feel weak it is as if we have forgotten the many things we have been through and the how we have changed our lives before. At this very moment, no matter what you are going through, you are stronger than you know. Sometimes we don't know our power until the time comes to use it. It lies dormant within us and emerges just when we think we can't go on. And when it does, we find that we had much more power and strength than we ever thought possible. So when you feel like giving up and throwing in the towel, know in your heart that your strength is on its way to the surface. One day you will look back at this moment and see just how strong you really are. You are stronger than you feel and much stronger than you know. 
that was written by Lamasha Lamisha Sir Walls. And that is a very good reading. And a lot of these in this book are very good reading. And I'm going to be sharing these with you um, along with my wisdom cards and things. Because I do have, isn't that an awesome bookmark? The wisdom and the eye. I love it. And so, but I'm going to be sharing these with you too at the end of my um, videos. I always, because words of hope and encouragement, that we always need those. We always need those. And this is amazing. And I appreciate Cindy Utter for sending this, this book to me. This is amazing because there's so much wisdom in oh, there, words of hope and encouragement, just like it says wisdom within these pages and so and i'm going to share them with you all and i i have had a lot of ladies that tell me that they really do appreciate the affirmations and the words of encouragement at the end of the videos and so that makes me happy and um and always you can turn a video off if you don't feel like you need that but i think everybody needs to hear words of encouragement every day Okay, so I want to thank you all for stopping by and sharing with my happy mail. Thank you so much, Cynthia, for my happy mail. It's wonderful. And um, I ask God to watch you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. God bless.